Hello people, um, we're back with No Man's Sky as we play through and try and explore the whole universe. Um, oh, that's pretty cool. It's moving very uh, jittery, but that's the sun. That means our planet is rotating and the sun is moving. Where's the sun? Somewhere. Wow, that's pretty cool. Look at that. A whole universe is going on here. <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, just so I think what we need to focus on is um, let's focus on uh, building our ship and seeing if we can get to another solar system. I think that's something I need to focus on at this stage. Um, nothing found in there. That's cool. Uh, so. Okay, so let's race back to my ship. What's this down here? Oh. Okay. But can I move them around? Not that one. You. Alright. Let's have a quick look. Can I stack carbon on something? Plutonium? Can I stack you here? No. Alright, that's alright. Let's just, um. Let's race back to my, my ship. I really, I feel like I've spawned in, um, in a part of the universe that's quite boring. I mean, I wonder what the history is of the Corvax and is the Corvax um, are they are, are the robots the Corvax people? I think they are can I get anything from there? No um, so I wonder what their story is on this planet do we do we think that they were put here on what is a hostile environment to you know mine the place and 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 gather materials for another being and now they're left here by themselves or do we think that maybe they are um they were here mining a planet and they've basically destroyed it and it's what we see today a, a barren wasteland and the humans that exist on it are um a debt so i'm just going to go to my ship see if i can dump some things in here so I guess there's many possibilities, and I wonder if there's a chance to learn these stories about the aliens that live on these planets, or in this case, the robots. Uh, it's quite interesting. Uh, I don't want to take off for now. I've got no room in my spaceship either. So, uh, let's look at what I need to get off the planet. Um, uh, how do I do that? I don't know. Uh, let's just give this some of that. Um, move and stack. What what do I need? How do I figure out what my ship needs to do? travel or should I just gather money and maybe buy someone else's ship that might be better with more parts I think that might be a better solution a little bit boring uh, a little bit of mining involved which um, is what this game is all about but perhaps we should just do that for now until I can figure out another plan I will run in here um, I'm exhausted wait for stamina to recharge uh, I'll just go in here and uh, see what I can do. See if I can sell something, and then uh, there he is. Life support power. No. Life su Let's just quickly do my life support, which is exosuit, and life support, which keeps draining on these planets. And what should we use here? Power canister. Technology cool. Feel like that was a bit of a waste, but anyway, that's fine. <coughs> um. Can I, can I talk to this person? 20 carbon. Let's... Okay. Entity flot. 
The lights in the electronic life forms casing start to brighten. It jerks its head sharp, sharply to the right, a strange buzzing noise signaling an onrush of unseen data. The download over, it downgrades its communication channels to those of conventional speech. Request gift, request healing, request shield, and I can't... Yeah, so I'm, the Corvacs aren't really into me at the moment. It's interesting that they download personality, like, so this is a being, and then they download other robots or other AI or, or brains, I guess, into this machine here. Um, I'd love to know about the other creatures that people are um, interacting with. But I guess a lot of people at the moment are just kind of going to these terminals and selling things. Um, so let's... And why can't I sell this? Because I don't have it, maybe? Or it doesn't need it? I don't know. Um, so, plutonium, I feel, is a bit rich on this planet. So let's... I do need plutonium, but let's... Um, I think we're okay to sell. Okay, so there, my money's back up there. Um... This one, I think, yeah, we could sell that as well. That was a bit under the galactic average. Um, I feel like you're just wasting time at this point in time in terms of you know learning about selling, but you've got to keep trading, I think, to figure it out. Okay, let's, oh, sorry, it's just in there, my bad. No, <laughs> sorry. Buy items. What do they have that I might need? And how do I figure out what I do need? Suspension fluid. Yeah. Corvax casing. Let's um, exit out of here. So I've got all this space now because I sold some things. And on my starship, has some space as well. Now, hyperdrive. I want to... How do I... Install technology and manage your Starship's cargo. I'm just going to go to options. And that's all in discoveries. Sorry. Getting used to the controls again. Uh, so, in flight boost. Pulse jump. Okay. Starship out of range. Okay, I see. I see. Okay, so what I might do... Uh, is someone coming? No. Nope. It's just wind. Let's go to my spaceship. Maybe find another area that we can kind of park nearby and then start mining. So, I think I think we're about we're about ready to maybe explore another star system. Or I could just mine in space, but there seems to be a finite amount of um, materials there. No, no, no. Ah, wrong button. Alright, while I'm here, I'm just gonna quickly... Too far away. We'll make our way over to that thing. The question mark. Just gonna mine this stuff. Well, you don't get much of this stuff. Alright, anyway. Let's get this quickly. You can really get distracted on this. This game. Okay, back to my spaceship.
So what kind of civilizations have you come across in your games if you're playing it or even in another game what storyline or civilization have you been most fascinated by? Um, I'm not getting much from these Corvax people to be honest. Uh, they're not really interested that I'm here or they don't really care which is fine. Uh, it does make me a little bit sad. I, I do cry sometimes. Oh, what do we got here? Alright, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna land here. Okay, some boxes. There's always court rates. No matter where you are in whatever game, or whatever part of the universe you're in, there's some boxes lying on the ground with a health pack. But just, you know, usual items that you need. Nothing. Whoever decided when they... Gek Charm. Perfect. Whoever decided that um, they were going to put nothing in boxes on, in video games is a is a pure madman. It's just... All, sometimes you go through so much work. Okay, this is... When I attack these things... The other guys come. I feel like I can hear them coming. There, stay away. It's just not a good idea to destroy that around it. Let's um save. Get this point going. So I wonder if I can rename that. I guess it's already got a name, but the uh, the animals do too. But if you could Rename planets, that would be really cool. I'd be into that. Um, yeah. Oh no. Uh, the drones are... Are gonna try and get out of there. The music's going crazy. Are they chasing me? Is that the thing behind me? Okay. Anyway, I have no idea. <clears throat> so. Destroy drones before they alert others or avoid detection to escape. Should I mine on another planet, perhaps? Is there, is there just nothing going on here? Oh, look at this place. Should we go in here? Initiate landing sequence. Sentinel force deactivate. Restore point saved. Uh. Okay. It's all these caves. Before I go, I'll just examine this cave up here. Uh, up the top there. It was there. Life support power. Just gonna fix my life support. And this while I'm here. Technology recharge. Technology recharge. And my exosuit life support. How can I make this stronger? What do we, let's just get some treasures up here. Ugh. Ah, it's a bit too high. Oh, just made that. There's a treasure down there too. Okay. What's up here? Another save point?
So what's the point of doing this? Obviously that's to save the game, but um, does discovering things help? Restore point, yeah. Inventory full. Okay, inventory full. Am I... We'll just... Cool. Oh, sorry, I fixed my scanner as well. Just trying to use things to free up some space. Where's this scanners? Okay. Life support's down again. Get charm. Health at maximum. Nothing found. So that's it. Amazing. How awesome are the jetpacks? You can just fall off a massive height like that and just um, survive the fall. All right. Again, the life support is low. So what do we reckon we should do? Should I... What are those? I'm looking at my radar down the bottom and it's got some lines on it. So there's a planet dead ahead. But what are those lines there? What's that on the... On the right? I can't really tell. This game is just very much like out there. You can just look how big it is. And it's just a barren wasteland. But what's going on on all these planets? What are all these little things here? I wouldn't mind a little bit more story uh, in this game uh, to kind of inform me about what's going on or so I could learn a bit more. I guess it's maybe just a little bit of a story at the beginning as to what happened to me, why I had crash landed, but I guess that's the charm of it as well. To figure out what had gone on, maybe. Um, but yes, it's uh, a little bit too big. What I might do, let's leave this planet and get back into space. Uh, I think we need to pulse jump yet, yeah, maybe. Engaging pulse engine. So I might. So how do you stop this though? Do you have to hold these two? There we go. L2. Sorry, I'm still learning. So where am I? I just left that planet. That's a space station. What else do we have? There's another planet down there. Should we go to that one? I haven't been there. All of these planets seem a bit too, too um, too hot, too inhospitable. I've been there, and I've been to that moon. All right, let's just do a little bit of mining while I'm here. It's a space station. So think about again, we talk about the size of the the, the planet and all that, the, the universe that we're in, arrive in 2 hours 44 minutes if I travel at this current speed. Uh, I, I, I actually struggle to understand how that works. Um, I've been to that space station and I don't feel that I have enough money to actually buy a good enough ship at this stage. So let's go to this planet. Um, 
Can I look around while I'm here? This is pretty cool. I wonder if you can go to the sun and mine the sun. This is crazy. And how am I not hitting any of these things? You know what I mean? How, how, when you do a, 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 this is what I've always wondered in games, when you do a, a warp nine or something like that, how do you actually avoid all this debris in space? How do you change speed um, that quickly? I guess you could avoid a big pocket of it, but clearly I'm going right through the center. So does it just bounce off? Um, so many sci-fi questions. It's a little time. Um, this is ages away. I'm kind of going off course. I'm there in 16 seconds. Man, this game is just a little bit too big. <laughs> uh, but I'm enjoying it. Scanner recharging. Let's get out. Okay. This, is this planet very close to the sun? Because all these planets suck. There's no water on them. Got me some nickel. I guess this is what space exploration will actually become like. It'll just become incredibly lonely and devoid of life. This is actually what the universe would be like. Um, let's speed down into this planet. Should I jump? I'll just jump down there. Here we go, back onto this planet. Or well, not back, this is my first time here. <coughs> Yutang, it's the Wu-Tang Clan planet. I wish I could re rename it that. Wu-Tang Clan, okay. So again, we're on an, another planet, it's just a rocky nightmare. There's some, does this, area except other ships no this area does that which is good so what I might do is I'll just land here nearby kind of don't want to land on that thing because that might prevent people coming but it's okay not the end of the world you tan you waste son Weather, withered. Sentinels, regular. What is a sentinel? Why are they important? Why are they on all the planets? Why is it something that... Minus 22. Oh, it's cold. Nothing found. Nothing. Awesome. <laughs> hey, you want to open this box? Yeah, I'll take the time to do that. Why not? You only live once. Well, there's nothing in the box, okay? So, it's like it's like Christmas. Imagine opening a present on Christmas and there's nothing in it. Okay, let's um... Let's just go into this area. Oh, did I scare it for like... No, I just want to interact. Can't interact. 
I can't interact with a full inventory. Ay, ay, ay. Where's the. Fading Hunter. Let's have a look at this. And uh, I feel like mine is better. You suck, Fading Hunter. Okay, uh, Galactic Trade, let's sell some things. Uh, Emerald, yep, we can sell that. Gek Charm, I don't need. Foundation. Got a trophy. The old trophies. Plutonium. I might now. Let's sell the platinum. Keep that fabric just in case. Zinc, there's not much value in that. That's it. Alright. Um, hang on. Is that from. Can I sell from my starship? Great. Let's sell all that gold. And nickel, the emerald. Oh, I don't know what I just sold in. Um, okay. Shielding plate, shielding shard, power gel, power canister, micro density fabric, night crystals. What about the day crystals? Naturally glowing crystalline clusters. That's hard to say. Used in the creation of technological devices and starship manufacturer. Okay. Let's, um. Can I talk to this person now? I can. Okay. Entity Nia. How do you know the name of these people? Corvax standing. Irrelevance. They don't like me. Corvax. The electronic life form is agitated and perhaps in pain. Its body buzzes and small arcs of electricity jump between its mask and shoulders. It jolts and shakes. It needs help. It reaches out its hand as if it wants to shake mine. I instinctively raise my arm in response, but common sense advises caution. Shake hands. One health. Let's do it. The life form discharge, discharges an overload. The pain is intense. It thanks me. Yes, new tech. So I need iron and carbon. User is guarded from extreme cold damage on frozen worlds. Cool. Heat capillaries threaded through a user's suit that evenly uh, distributes liquid uh, calidium to maintain a comfortable body temperature. Okay, so. So if I, so install technology, and we've got these things. Oh, this is really hard. You can't get a balance all this stuff. Laser cooldown time. We don't need that at the moment. Starship energy shield. All right, that's fine. In my exosuit though, do we have? So we need iron and carbon. Not much to do that. And that just takes up space. And then, oh, God. Aluminium. Okay. But if I sold all that plutonium, why is it saying I've got 250? Increases users' health once primary systems have failed. Okay. No worries. And in my multi tool, that's all full. This stuff. Okay, so what's important? Buying another ship, I feel is more important. Um, what about craft product? What do we need here? A lightweight metal to get the car right. Micro density fabric. Bypass chip. That helps. 10 iron, that's all I need. Electron vapor. Captured cloud of ionized electrons, a fundamental component of many technologies and often used in the creation of antimatter. Suspension fluid. I can do that. There might be 
suspension fluid in here. So we'll go to buy and we need to purchase some suspension fluid there, which I've got money for. Oh. Okay. So here we want to craft product that build product using so now what can I do with this so I guess I need that when I want to build something one of these things all right let's focus on one thing at a time iron and carbon Let's, let's try that. Oh, data. And it's still freezing. Journey milestone accomplished. Just by looking. Entrepreneur. Because of the money I've been making. Okay. Met four aliens. Nice. Am I getting anything from these? Your health levels rise. Fascination bead. Shielding shard. It's more over here. Fascination bead. that to see that shadow that plane is he trying to land here I need that bypass chip would be handy New technology discovered, plasma launcher. Land, disruption technology and excavation tool. Launch, plasma shells, explode on impact. Great. Thank you. Health. Is that my health? Nice. So we need carbon and iron. Oh, what's happened in here? So I think we can get carbon from these plants. There's some iron. Oh. What? Let's discard the... They're, they're worth a bit. Getting some iron and carbon. Can I get carbon from any of these things? No. Iron. No carbon? What about here? Nothing. Just walk through. <clears throat> okay, this is a bit creepy. Plutonium is. Okay, okay, okay. Um, can I transfer items? I can. Okay, great. So. We've got some iron. Actually, we'll transfer this as well. 
power canister. I feel like I've got enough iron, I just need carbon. And does carbon just come from animals? Ah, oh, there we go. I feel like that would be enough. So do I continue on this way? Is there an end to this cave? What are those on the roof? Oh no. Well, I just dest <laughs> destroyed what was on the roof. I'm sorry. How could this game be this big? Oh, look at these things. Little lava flows. I feel like a geologist would love this game. Um, no. Anything to scan? There we go. Discovering things in the cave. How far away is that? Okay, I can get there. No, waste of time. Waste of time. Okay. You can really get sidetracked in this game. It's um pretty alarming how easy it is to just kind of get lost. No, stop pressing that button. Pusate, Oesthemia. Olative. Olivite, sorry. Big Sled Bitterite. It's very Pokemon at the moment with these names that don't mean anything. Already discovered. I feel like I should be doing that a bit more than I am. It's like free got that guy. Free money in a way when you when you name them. Back outside. Okay, so if I have the materials I need to install, it's got it there. Yep, perfect. So, so Stamina is increased. Fantastic. So, let's focus on starship abilities, I think. So, if we want technology, they're not really good ones, are they? Zinc, platinum, emerald. Starship energy shield strength and provides added protection from laser fire. I don't really even need that. Maybe I should just buy one. What's up here on these things? Nothing. Okay. So that radio signal detected find source of life signs, that has been on my map continuously from that other planet. Um, but I just don't know how to help that guy. So it does nothing on the planet. Oh, look at this. I love that it can kind of land anywhere. 
almost like in a dangerous spot. Okay, let's learn more about the Corvax. Knowledge stone, interact. Corvax word for traveler. That's cool. Knowledge stone, probability. Learned eight words. What is this? Please. Okay. Is there one over here? Nope. And we'll go to the top. The Hamaracla Arfa Fragment. It's a Korvac monolith. Okay, this is exciting. I feel faint, as if my mind is being invaded. P uh, pustules on my skin grow, bubble and pop, and I feel countless tiny stabbing pinpricks scrabbling from each gaping hole. That's pretty scary. Suddenly, metal spiders, perhaps tiny sentinels, run up my shoulder and into my visor. Can this be real? This cannot be real. I start to scream. Uh, let's wait it out. Calm, it's saying there on the left. So wait it out. The hallucination fades. I have passed some sort of test. A reward materializes. What was it? That's it. Babel, 17. Word for awake. Corvax casing. That's it. So many milestones, so little time. So I wonder, you could, I guess you could spend all your time on all these planets just trying to learn this language of the Corvax, learn their story or something. Maybe it might be easy to talk to them. Interesting to note that, so, when you're interacting with things and there's, um, instead of actually showing you what's going on, it's kind of more like a text-based adventure. So they kind of say, this is what's happening, this is how you feel. And obviously that's because it's, they can't store that sort of data on the game. There's just too much there. Um, no, always the wrong one. Why do I always forget where the buns are? Okay. So where do we want to go next? Because this place is a... Is that a man? I thought that was the Michelin man down there. Look, there is an, another one. There's those things. I can't get over how big these planets are. It's it's kind of insane. And look, there's there's a tunnel just down there. It kind of catches up with itself a little. <laughs> it's a little bit slow. But all the cave work underground and all of that sort of stuff, it's just insane. Here's another outpost. Maybe we should land here. Sell some things. Go over here quickly. Usually there's some some things in here. Very rep repetitious, all these buildings, but they would be, I guess, built by robots. New technology, plasma clip, bolt casters, ammo clip capacity increased. I need titanium and a micro density fabric. I need one more of those. That's cool. Anything else? No. Um, and over here there was some can mine this ground here. Actually, I, uh, I don't have the power. Sorry, don't want to fire. Uh, can't mine the ground. It's just a spill. Someone's uh, had a slurpee and it's just spilled all over the floor. 
Um, okay. Sorry. Let's, um... We'll go over here and save. And then we'll go inside and trade. Um... This game is just too big, I feel. Unless I'm, maybe I'm doing it wrong. I could have advanced a bit more by now, but it seems like there's just a, it's a lot of mining. What does this guy want? Scholar entity. Test subject. I uh, don't know any of those words. It's asking me a question though. The life form shows me complicated creatures research data to see if I can comprehend it. I must look blank because the life form instead projects three holographic images into my visor. It's clearly seeking my opinion on the intellectual intellect level of my own species. I am shown a vacant looking slug, a more advanced beaked trader, and a member of its own vastly intelligent electronic race. I don't think I'm... Am I more of a beaked trader? Uh, I'm not a slug. I'm am I an electronic life form? At this stage, I'm going to say I'm a big trader. The life form was clearly expecting this answer. It has readied a technology blueprint for me. Thank you. Provides increased maneuverability and longer boost during spaceflight. That's a good one. Nickel, thamium, and neutrino module, which I don't have. Thanks, buds. Health at maximum. Don't need that. Let's trade. Wish I had this on my plane instead of having to come here all the time. So sell. Don't need that. Plutonium. Plutonium does help. Iron. Got no thamion. That's it. Um, Atlas stone. What is that? A spherical gem that seems to pulsate with red light from its center. An extremely rare item often associated with ancient monolithic sites. Look how expensive that is. And this is to do with all the Atlas stuff. Oh, I'd like to buy that, but I can't afford it. Yeah. Emerald. I do need emerald. Uh, let's exit. See what I need. Laser beam, don't really care about. Energy shield's fine. That one's good. Nickel, thamium, neutral model. Module. Nickel, thamium, neutral. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's buy... Be good if an emerald. We'll get that anyway. What's this one here? Oh, it's gone. I should sorry a lot of shopping going on it's like the home shopping network would you like this necklace it's only for 48,000 installments of 9.95 um sell items and from my starship which I've dumped a lot of stuff yeah so sell that
<coughs> nickel. Nickel might be in space. Still need a better starship, I think. Frosting. Look at my, because it's so cold. Look at my um, frost meter. That's dangerous. Now there's a lot of planes here. Maybe I can chase one down. Does this look any better than mine? He's just going around in circles. What if I shoot him down? Uh oh. Okay, I feel kind of bad, but I'm into this now. <laughs> oh no. Should I get out of here? I feel like I should get out of here. Let's escape. <laughs> I wish I could do that whenever <laughs> something happened. Um, just made a mistake. Escapes the planet. Yeah, I feel like that was a mistake. That wasn't necessarily my strategy in this game. But anyway. A bit silly. Are they chasing me? I need to get out of here. Pulse engine. Oh man. So I guess this that's kind of like the bar that's on um Grand Theft Auto, you got five um, cops coming after you. At the moment, I've just got one. Um, I don't know what a sentinel does when it gets to you. Oh no, what does that mean, sentinel? Where? Oh man. I need to get out of here with it. Oh man, I just want to get out of here. Why can't I escape with the pulse engines while I'm in this situation? No, I'm sorry. Ah, I'm not going to make it. No, it was a mistake. Should I fight back? I'm sorry, I don't know why I shot him. Uh, uh, this is making everybody sick right now. Follow the blues, it looks like there's two of them. Uh, well, that's it. We walk in dark places, no others will enter. Dead. Generation 1. Death by Sentinel attack ship. So why did I spawn here? Ah, uh, well that's the first generation, 
and I know not to attack people at the moment until I get stronger. I'm going to end that lesson there. Um, thank you very much for watching and uh, we'll pick it up later on where we'll try and get to another star system. Thank you. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.